Hi, this is Stuart Bruce. I'm the GIS Program Coordinator at Washington College, and today I'm going to give a lecture on Arc Toolbox. Arc Toolbox is actually the third um, Arc GIS user interface. It has a lot of tools in there that you're going to use to process various things when you're working on GIS. One of the important things to remember about the toolbox is that while the toolbox interface is the same, the amount of tools that are in it vary depending on the level of ArcGIS that you have. So uh, recently ESRI changed uh, some of their wording around. Uh, right now they have what's called basic, standard, and advanced, and that replaces the old names of ArcView, ArcEditor, and ArcInfo. At the basic level, you only have a certain amount of tools. At the standard, you get more tools. And at the advanced level, you get even more tools. In addition, ESRI sells what are known as extensions. Uh, and you'll notice in the image uh, here that if you look at the top, there's a 3D analyst tools. And kind of near the bottom, there's a spatial analyst tools. These toolboxes are only available if you purchase the additional extensions of 3D Analyst and Spatial Analyst. So while the interface is the same, uh, the number of tools uh, will vary. You can access the ARC Toolbox um, from either within ArcMap or the ARC Catalog interface. Opening ARC Toolbox is very simple. Uh, up on the top standard toolbar, you'll see a little icon that's supposed to look like a little red toolbox. Uh, this is you know, basically called the Show Hide Arc Toolbox window. One of the things that I've noticed that uh, I actually find annoying is that when you try to open the toolbox, uh, it doesn't instantly open. Uh, you have to be patient. Uh, sometimes it can take several seconds uh, before it will actually open up. The toolbox is really a filing system. Um, you know, if you think of a toolbox, um, it's a little red toolbox. Um, I don't know if you guys have one of these or not, but uh, you, know, you have a toolbox, it has various tool drawers, uh, and inside any tool drawer you have a number of tools. So it's really organized like a toolbox um, for you to find things. Now this organization uh, schema uh, can be confusing. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to find tools. This is sort of a blow-up view um, expanding some of the tools. You can see at the top here, I'm actually looking at the 3D Analyst tools, so we have our basically our tool box, the 3D analyst toolbox. We have tool drawers. You come down here and look at conversion. Inside that tool drawer, you have additional tool drawers. And inside the tool, tool drawers, you have various tools. Now, if you'll notice here, there's a lot of uh, tools to use. Um, if I'm just going to scroll down here and go um, land XML to 10. Now, I will admit I've been doing GIS for over 15 years, and I have never used the LAN XML to 10 tool. So some tools in here you will you know, potentially never use in your entire career. Some tools you will use frequently. There's a couple tools that you're going to use in this GT102 course. Uh, they're under the Analysis Toolbox. Uh, basically, Extract, uh, Clip, uh, and the Buffer tool. Um, you'll find that you use these fairly frequently. Uh, we actually do have uh, geoprocessing lessons that will uh, review how to use these particular tools. Some other tools that you use in this workshop, um, um, the Append, and the Merge tool, the Dissolve tool, uh, the Project tool is very important. Uh, and we also have the defined projection. Sometimes the tool names um, may not um, make a lot of sense to you, um, but they are what they are. Now, one benefit of our toolbox is that you can customize this. So let's say that in your job, you're using certain tools more than others, and you get kind of annoyed at having to go to all these different places to find the tools. You can actually create your own toolbox, and inside that toolbox, you can put the tools that you use most frequently. This can be a workplace uh, productivity thing for you, because all the tools that you normally use, you know exactly where they are, uh, they're in your own little special toolbox. 
lot of my staff at uh, Washington College <coughs> uh, use this tool. Um, if you can't remember where tools are, you can just type the name of the tool in there and it will actually find it for you. Um, instead of sitting there and randomly opening tool drawers until you find the tool that you need, uh, you can use this to save time. And that's the end of the lecture. Um, I'm going to give a demonstration on Arc Toolbox as a separate video.